table we have our little bird. So this is Atticus, my little Japanese quail, also called Katernix quail. And I've had him now for a year, I think. Yeah, he's a really cute little guy. He spent his first uh, few months of life in a bucket with his sisters. And they beat him up pretty badly, and that's why he is kind of a ragamuffin, because some of the wounds never... They've all healed, but um, it caused damage to his feathers, so he always has this bald patch on his neck, and his face, especially his eye, got kind of pecked. When he first came, he was... Because he led such a deprived life as a chick, his brain wasn't very well developed, so... Making any type of intention was really difficult for him, like just moving from one side of the cage to the other, sort of a feat. So I slowly built up his ability to think and make decisions just by setting him in places where he had to think things out. And now he knows the whole layout of the top of this um, house, and he tells me what he wants, and he makes a lot of racket when he wants you to do something. So whenever we're watching TV, he makes a huge racket because he wants to join us. And when he knows that I'm working downstairs on my art, huge racket because he wants to join me. And then when he's had enough, he wants to get back to his cage, he runs to the door and makes a, off the uh, master room, makes a huge racket. And then you gotta let him in, put him back in his cage. And because he spent so much of his youth in a confined space, he actually feels very comfortable in a cage. Especially now that it was set it up for maximum um, quaily comfort. So what he has in his cage, he's got of course his food, and I'm feeding him chick starter, plus wild bird seed, and mealworms. He really likes mealworms, and odd greens, and he's got grit, and this is his mirror. And he spends most of his time in front of the mirror. And he tries to groom it, and he's actually scratched it with his beak, which really surprised me. It gets quite dirty because he keeps trying to groom it. And then he has water. And then he has these two stuffies, and each one has a different purpose. With this one, he really likes to sleep under its ears. Sort of like mummy's wing. So that's his mom. And then this one will... <clears throat> he is a boy, and he likes to mate with it. So I might catch him doing it, and I'll show you. It's really funny, actually, but it does make him happy. <laughs> so his otter and his rabbit. And then he has a, a dust box filled it up with reptile sand, and he spends a lot of time having dust baths. So we'll see what kind of behaviors he'll show us when I'm filming him. Right now it's just eating. I'll give him a worm. He's really cute when he eats his wormies. But does he want a wormy? Does he want a wormy? He does. He wants a wormy. He wants a wormy. He wants a wormy. There he goes. Surprised how much I enjoy this little bird. He's not clingy like a parrot and doesn't demand that much attention. And I really like that part, but at the same time he's bonded, and he's sweet, and he's interactive. He's just a great little low-key birdie pet. Just love him. The second quail I've had, I had a quail before, a uh, different species of Bob White, and he was fantastic. He was a bit more intelligent, plus I raised him from a chick, so he was imprinted, and he had the run of the house. And he was bonded to my big German Shepherd, so wherever she went, he went. And I'd take him in the car, and to work, and even on an airplane I took him once. And he lived for seven and a half years, and he was an awesome little guy. And it's such a shame that I didn't get into filming at that stage, because he would have made the best YouTube star ever. But this little guy's a sweetie. in a while to eat the worms. But he loves it when I'm in the room. And he gets all preeny and he gets a warm look in his eye. He just loves it when I'm here. Hey, little bad boy? Yeah. No, because he's hoping for another worm. Yeah, wormies are good. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's 
what he does with his Arta. <laughs> well, it keeps him happy. You've got three different companions in here. You've got your mom, you've got your friend, and you've got your mate. you got everybody. Yeah. Keeps a little birdie happy. <laughs> You're such a funny bird. Is he? Funny bird. Funny bird.